So Microsoft is once again busy pushing out their update health tools for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the tool is made available using the update KB4023057, which I have posted on previously on this channel. And just to do a quick recap, if we head over to our Windows update, and this applies to both Windows 10 and Windows 11, on the Windows update page, this is the update I'm talking about, 4023057, and is currently being rolled out. And I haven't received the update over the last couple of days. The last time I received the update was on the 5th of April when I did a clean installation of Windows 11 on this device. And, uh, and that's when I did a hard drive upgrade or SSD upgrade. And uh, um, a brief background on the update. Um, this is a regular update that Microsoft rolls out using a phased staggered rollout. So if you are like me, you may have not seen it yet recently over the last day or so. But if you haven't, I'm sure you will be getting it um, over the next uh, couple of days and or weeks. And um, it includes resources to address issues that affect the update process in Windows 10 and Windows 11 that may prevent important Windows updates and feature updates from being installed. Now, the update is also a compulsory automatic mandatory update, which will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. And uh, it's a very small update. It only takes a couple of seconds to um, uh, install and download. And uh, by the way, just on a side note, um, it cannot be uninstalled. The actual update cannot be uninstalled. So just take note of that. Now, um, if we click on the actual um, learn more link next to the update, this will take us over to the so-called release notes where um, we get a bit more info regarding um, this update. It says, uh, update health tools is offered to devices um, using 4023057 as mentioned. This update is applicable for both Windows consumer and commercial devices with a slightly different purpose and functionality. So if you are a Windows consumer, i.e. a home user, um, on Windows consumer devices, the update helps remediate smooth functioning of Windows Update. If you um, are a commercial user, for commercial devices, the update is recommended for Windows Update for Business Deployment Service for Managing Feature and Quality Updates. So that's basically the difference between Windows consumer and commercial devices. And what the update will do um, is it will install this tool as mentioned so if we head over to our apps installed apps as mentioned at the start of this video it, it installs the microsoft update health tool and if we just scroll down in our installed apps uh, yeah we get it microsoft update health tools and we can see it's only 1.02 megabytes so it's a very small tool but what this tool will do if it does find issues on your system uh, in regards to uh, windows update it may do a couple of things. It may try to reset network settings if problems are detected and it will clean up registry keys that may be preventing updates from being installed successfully. It also may repair disabled or corrupted Windows operating system components. It also may compress files in your user profile directory to help free up enough disk space to install important updates. And it also may reset the Windows Update database to repair the problems that could prevent updates from installing successfully. So that's just a couple of things that the update health tools will do uh, if it does find issues on your system. And as mentioned, that's made available with KB4023057, which is now starting to roll out for Windows 10 and 11 yet once again. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.